Hey everybody, this is Jeff Butts from the Mac Observer, and today we're going to look at the enhanced dictation within iOS 16, at least as of developer beta 3. So let's get started. There's a lot to love about iOS 16, and I think one of my favorite, it's not even a new feature, it's just uh, really expanding on an old one. Apple has made a lot of changes to how dictation works in iOS 16. Let's walk through it and see how it works. And just understand, we're not talking about voice control here. We are talking about dictation, which is what you're doing after you tap on the microphone icon, either in a text message bubble or next to your keyboard. We go into notes. And next to my, in my keyboard, you'll see the microphone icon. I'll tap that and start dictating. And you'll see it doesn't work the same as it used to. Changes to dictation in iOS 16. New line. New line. New line. Apple has greatly enhanced dictation in iOS 16. One of the first things you might notice is that I don't have to switch back and forth between dictating and typing. While in iOS 15, my keyboard disappears as soon as I start dictating, that's not the case in iOS 16. New line. New line. You also might notice that iOS is happily punctuating everything for me. Before this, comma, I had to talk like this, comma, which raised a lot of eyebrows when I was trying to be correct in my punctuation in text messages, period. New line. New line. It isn't perfect, but it's a lot better than it used to be. It's not just commas and periods either. What are we going to have for dinner? As you can see, iOS automatically put the question mark after my question. New line. New line. Again, it's not perfect. But what about emojis? New line. New line. How about a smiley face emoji? Or maybe you want a zany face emoji. It might take it a second, but it eventually picks up what I meant. Oh, how about a facepalm emoji? I tend to use that one a lot. New line, new line. Okay, so what do I do when I'm ready to quit dictating? New line. New line. It missed my punctuation there. This is a beta, of course. So when I'm ready to turn off dictation, all I have to do is tap the microphone again. Just like that. So there is a high level overview of the new enhanced dictation on iOS 16. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give us a like by tapping on that thumbs up icon. 
Make sure you subscribe to the Mac Observer's channel so you can get all of our videos in your subscriptions and tap on the bell so that you'll get notified whenever we have a new one for you to enjoy. Until next time, I hope everybody has a great day and a great week.